welcome back in this tutorial we will learn next set of commands let's start with fillet click on fillet select the edge then select the type of fillet i want constant radius then select the edge to which you want to apply the fillet and give the radius if you want to view the preview click on this full preview so it will show the preview also and click ok the fillet will be created fillet then select the edge you want to fillet then there is one more option is multiple radius fillet if you click on it you can give different radius for each fillet suppose I want it to be of 15 radius so it is of 15 and it is of 10 and if I take one more line you can ch change radius for this also suppose I want it 20 so in this way using multiple fillet radius you can give different radius value to each fillet then when we select the three edges now here the portion is not properly merged so if you want to merge this portion properly then you can use the setback parameters so click on this here setback vertices and select this vertices you want to merge then define the setback distances suppose for this I'll just take it away suppose for this I want it to be 20 then here I want 25 and here I want 20 so as per our setback distance it has merged it properly and it will create the fillet as per that if the fillets radius are different then you have to use setback parameters to merge it properly then next is partial preview will show the partial preview no preview will not show any preview full preview will show full preview then there is this tangent propagation we will just cancel this right click delete then clear selection we will take only this vertical one ok done and again we will give fillet then we will select this line if you see if I selected this line it selected the complete tangent edges so that is possible because of this tangent propagation if I remove this stick so it will fillet only the single edge and if you want to fillet complete edges you have to take this tangent propagation so then if we cancel this and click on this fillet option so there is select through faces now if this tick is on you can select behind behind edges also the edges behind the solid object can also be selected very easily if this option is on if I remove this option I cannot select this edge I can select this face directly but I cannot select this edge so you have to keep this on so you don't have to orbit again and again to select the behind edges in the same command you can select behind edges also then there is this skip feature so we will just remove it ok we will just cancel it and create one feature and we will see the effect of that what happens we will create one extruded boss base here then ok ok now if we try to create a fillet and select this edge and we will just increase the value for fillet to 30 and we will remove this tick keep feature and click on ok so what happened because of the fillet this extrude has been removed if we want to keep this extrude as it is then click on this option keep features 
and ok so it will keep that feature as it is it will not remove it so that is key feature then next is next is round corner so for that uh, for this feature also we will create one object and we will see the effect what happens so we will create one extruded boss base here Okay. Okay. Now, well, if we try to fillet this, fillet, and we will select this edge. These four edges, we will reduce the fillet. Okay. Now, here fillet is like this. If we Select this option rounded corner, round corners, and we will further reduce the fillet. Suppose we will make it 10. So you can view that here the round is created. If we remove this round corner, so it will create the sharp edges, and if we tick here, it will create the round corners. So that is round corners option. Then next is this key page and keep surface. So for that we will clear the selection and we will select only this edge. We will increase the radius. If we click on this keep surface suppose and ok. So it will keep that surface vertical as it is and it will make the fillet. If we select the keep surface. And if we select the option keep edge, then it will keep the edge as, as it is and it will not disturb the surface. It will not change the surface. So in this way you can use this, this option of keep edge and keep surface and default will normally uses the keep edges automatically. Then again fillet next fillet is variable radius fillet suppose I want to fillet here with variable radius click on variable radius select the edge then at, by default you can give different radius at each corner suppose here I want it to be 20 and here I want it to be 10 so it has varied the radius to then from here you can define the rule for radius variation if you choose smooth transition so it will vary it smoothly and if you click on straight transition it will take the straight lines for variation then if you want to define points in between from here you can control here automatically 3 has come so it has shown the 3 points in between if you want to it will show that 2 points or by clicking on this point you can control the location in the format of percentage also here if I want it this point at the center so here you have to give 50% and here you have to assign the radius suppose 25 same way if I click on this point here I can define it suppose at 75 percent and radius I want it to be 5 so in this way you can define the multiple points as many points as you want for variable fillet if you click on ok it will create fillet like that again click on fillet next is face fillet so before that we will remove the this fillet so it will we will able to see the face fillet properly and we will remove this fillet also and this fillet also click on fillet 
then face fillet then define the first set I want to fillet all these faces with click on the second face set select this face so it will fillet with respect to all the surrounding faces in this way you can use face fillet then again fillet next option is full round fillet I will remove this face set, fillet 6 then again fillet full round fillet then I will select this as a first then second and click here and third so using these three faces it has created a perfect round so the, in this way you can use full round fillet so, so that is fillet next is chamfer then select the edge you want to chamfer then first option is angle distance specify here distance and the angle how much angle you want and how much distance then if you want to change the sides you can click on this flip direction so it will change the sides for the parameter then select through faces key feature tangent tangent propagation is same as fillet command and full preview is there then second option is distance distance so you can specify two different distances and if you want to keep it equal distance tick here so it will accept only single distance then next option is chamfer vertex then select the point then it will whatever uh, distance you give as per that it will create the point chamfer if you want to vary the distance remove this equal distance option and you can specify the different distance also for chamfer command and uh, as per that you can create chamfer for corner also then next option is we will planes how to create planes for complicated object we need extra planes by default there are three planes are there front top and right and if you want to create some extra planes you can use this plane command click on plane then select I can make planes parallel to some faces Suppose I want to create a plane parallel to this, then give the gap. How much at how much gap you want the plane? And if you want to repeat the plane from here, you can repeat it. I want three planes at equal distance. And if you want to reverse the direction, click on this flip. So you can change the direction using flip. Suppose I want one plane, and you can flip from from here. So you can create plane parallel to any surface or plane and if you want to create it parallel to existing plane then click on plane and from here you can choose the plane of you want to create parallel to which plane select on that plane and it will create parallel give the para parameters then next again plane you can create plane passing through two lines suppose I choose this line and this line so it will create a plane passing through two lines you can also create a plane making angle sum with desired surface so click on plane suppose I will I want that plane to be passing through this line so click on this line then click on this surface and define the angle here click on this angle button at angle and specify the desired angle so it will create uh, create plane at an angle to that plane and uh, by clicking on this flip you can change the direction also on which side you want it or you can also create plane passing through multiple points suppose I want to create a plane passing through 
this point then this point and this point so as per that we can make a plane passing through multiple points also then you can make plane tangent also suppose I want some plane tangent to this circular shaft so click on reference plane plane then select this surface it has created tangent to this that plane uh, that surface and uh, suppose I want this tangent parallel to this surface then select this second surface and into that different if you want it perpendicular you can give it perpendicular or if you want parallel make it parallel so in this way you can make it parallel to that surface and tangent to this surface then if you want to make a plane passing through exactly between two surfaces suppose I will just remove these planes just on click on plane and select this surface then make it mid plane and choose the other surface so in this way it has created between the these two surfaces so in this way you can create different types of planes then next is mirror then select the uh, mirror plane around which you want to mirror suppose I want to mirror this cylinder around this plane so choose the middle plane then features to mirror click on the features to mirror and click on done so it will mirror around that plane selected feature around that plane and if we edit feature and then if you have surface model you can use faces to mirror so in this way you can use mirror then next is if I want to do some measurements how to do that so click on evaluate click on this measure then if you want to measure for line click on the line so it will show the length of the line to cancel the selection click outside select on this circle it will show the diameter and center click outside select on this face it will show the area and perimeter then click on this circle also so two objects has been selected so it has given the center to that surface distance then other distance also from here you can if you want minimum distance click on it it will show the minimum distance then there is maximum distance if you want the maximum distance then next is mass properties if you want the mass property of the whole object click on mass property it will show mass volume surface area and other properties right now density is zero because no material is applied to apply material on this material right click and select the material you want to apply suppose I want it to be brass then again click on mass property so it will take the density of brass automatically and it will give volume mass as per that so in this way you can view the different commands. So thanks for watching. We will stop here.